the Memphis Grizzlies, who last night took down the Oklahoma City Thunder, and it felt like one of those nights where Ja Morant might just have it. Guess what? He did. Let's roll the highlights last night. Grizzlies Thunder at FedEx Forum. Shea Gilgis Alexander always scores 30 plus, unless he plays the Grizz. He did take 10 free throws in the first quarter. But Dylan Brooks in the defense making a life as difficult as possible. John Morant off the turnover. Had 12 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists at halftime. Here's how the second half started. That was John Morant to Dylan Brooks for 3. Then it's John Morant to Dylan Brooks for 3. And then guess what? It's going to be John Morant to Dylan Brooks. 4-3. Brooks with 24 points last night, hit five threes. Second time in three games that he has done that. Ja hit some threes. Ja starting to cook in the third quarter. Ja Morant could have ended Pukashevsky's life, but instead hit him with a, oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. How does he do that finish? Hit the gritty. As he danced off the court, that is a soul sucker for an opponent right there. It happens so fast with the Grizzlies. Check out the Santi Aldama behind the back pass to Brandon Clark. BC with 17 points off the bench. This pass, a Santi Claus special. Tis the season. Jaron Jackson Jr. getting tied. His season high with five blocks last night. Had inside game, outside game working. Grizzlies are going to go up 20 in the fourth quarter. Right now, the moment it happened, Ja Morant, the steal in the backcourt, the feed to Clark for his 10th assist in his 6th career triple-double, the new franchise record for triple-doubles in Memphis. Couldn't end the night without officially welcoming back Zaire Williams. Z season in Memphis. Grizzlies win 123-102. Kari Morant dancing with the whole team after the game. It really is a family in Memphis. You saw it last night. Could not ask for a better end to a special night in Memphis. John Morant already in his young, young, young career setting the franchise record for triple doubles.